conservation is a key part of our water future for the state of California. And I have with me some of the state's most distinguished water leaders here this morning. Uh, before I introduce them, I do have the unique pleasure of being able to introduce Patty Garamendi. Patty is the Assistant General Manager of the Fair and the second lady of the state of California. And so I'm going to let Patty make a few opening remarks and then we'll uh, start with our, our uh, water talks. So Patty. Thank you very, very much, and welcome everybody, um, especially our incredible partners, the Department of Water Resources and Aqua. I think we've done it again. As you know, this is our, what is this, our fourth or fifth year doing some edutainment for the public about the importance of water. And this year, I was very excited that we were actually able to proclaim this, save our water day at the California State Fair. And you're on the electronic billboards and everything, and We'll just continue this partnership. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, before I introduce our, our two water leaders this morning, I do want to uh, just share with you a couple of things. Following the presentations this morning, we're going to have kind of a, a, a guided tour. I'm going to invite you all to walk with me around the exhibit, and we're going to talk about uh, what our intention was with the various parts of the exhibit and how people have reacted to the exhibit as they've attended here at the fair. And then after the tour, um, Lester and Tim and myself will be available up here on the podium for questions if anybody uh, from the media or from the uh, attendance wants to come and speak with us, we'd be happy to talk with you. So with that, uh, I'm going to introduce both Lester and Tim. Uh, Lester, you'll speak first. Um, Lester Snow is the director of the Department of Water Resources, and Tim Quinn is the general manager, executive director of the Association of California Water Agencies. We are here as a strong state-local partnership with the Save Our Water program, and these are the two leaders who are in charge of this program. Lester? Uh, thank you, Wendy. Uh, and I do want to point out, uh, you know, we're in the third year, the third dry year, third year of drought, and uh, Wendy has stepped up to be the drought coordinator for the department to try to pull together different programs and make sure that we are prepared. And in no small part, this effort here is about getting everybody prepared. I also want to thank uh, Patty directly. Patty and John, um, decades of support for sane water management in California. And, and I think uh, probably after today, when the votes are counted, uh, John will be uh, California's newest congressman heading back to Washington. And I suspect water will be one of his top priorities when he gets back there. So thank you very much, Patty. Um, save our water day. I mean, I think the point here today is, is saving your water isn't just a day. This is how we're going to draw attention to it. But saving water and increasing the way that we save water in California has become a part of our life. And uh, conserving water doesn't mean changing our lifestyle. It means being conscious of how we use water, and that's such a significant part of the display here today. As I mentioned, we're in our third year, uh, third dry year, third year of drought. Our reservoirs have been drawn down over that three years. And we are going to be way below normal as we head into the winter season. In addition to it being a dry year, we've uh, observed uh, increased environmental conflict or damage to the environment from water management activities. And we're way past uh, the point of talking about water in California, and we need to take action. As many people may be aware, uh, Governor Schwarzenegger for four years now has called for a comprehensive approach to dealing with water management. It includes things that have had uh, some controversy associated with them, including uh, uh, providing for more storage, fixing the delta, and including the potential of a canal, investing in local and regional water supply projects. But every time, every strategy has included conservation. We simply need to conserve more water. And when we do, we actually conserve energy. California has a wonderful history of energy conservation. We're probably the lowest per capita energy use of any state in the country. And that needs to be our objective with respect to water conservation. We need to do better than any other place in the country. As I, I mentioned, um, part of what we need to do is prepare as though we know next year is going to be another dry year. And so what that literally means is that if each one of us saves five gallons of water, that's five gallons of water in a reservoir or a groundwater basin that's available for us next year if it's a dry year. I hope everyone enjoys the display. 
everyone takes a little bit of something home about how they can save water and we can all work together to preserve our economy and our environment. Uh, with that, uh, let me turn it over to uh, a friend and colleague, uh, Tim Quinn, Executive Director of Aqua.